It's the Yep Yeah Yes Podcast with Marissa and Tamika. Look, I'd rather be a gambler than a weed head. I walked in, sat down, had to leave, and violently vomited. I'm not going down that hole. I'm not. Don't even try me. Not today, <laughs> Satan. Not today. I value my friendship. Oh, you, I'm the you're the cream. And the coffee is life. Life. You bring cream to my life. <laughs> I'm not sure. Once a week at, for an hour. <laughs> How we handle and take note and inventory is an indication of how our character is meant to unfold or how we are working to be a better version of ourselves. When we talk about taking inventory, it's how we place value and change value that may lead to more loss, but never stops and will always be. When we're in a better place and those around us hate it, are they ever really a big loss? I'm going to talk about something me and you never talk about. Yes, folks, the New York Knicks. As of right now, the Knicks are sitting at the sixth seed in the Eastern Conference of the NBA. I've listened to radio shows, TV shows, and podcasts talk about what changes need to be made to the roster in order for the Knicks to make a push with a successful playoff run. From trading for Bradley Beal, Andre Drummond, CJ McCollum, to even Kyle Lowry, it seems like pundits are picking a new name every day. But my question is, what does the team give up to get one of these players or any other? Many have suggested a package that consists of Obi, RJ, Knox, and some picks. My issue, and for those of you that understand the whole trade management negotiations with basketball, please comment. My issue is, why are we always trying to trade away our new players? Shouldn't we be trying to develop them and make them... Marissa's musings. Oh, well. All right. We can... We... Oh, my God. We can call it self-partnered, alone, not lonely, anchored and happy, married, committed, dating, whatever it is, as long as you're happy, right? We have no right or judgment to place on ourselves or others. Let me read that again, because that did not sound the way it read. We have no right to place judgment on others, only ourselves, to confirm what we believe is a standard definition of progression in life or what should could make us happy. But still, at the end of the day, I'm personally saddened by Kim and Kanye. They seem to fit so well, but oh well. Do you be happy? Make yourself happy. In conclusion, the end. (laughs) So you have to be living under a rock to miss any of what's been happening in our country. The trial of 45, in my opinion, has been riveting and eye-opening. But similar to today's topic, I must ask, free Trump or not? Those of us who have been watching the impeachment have witnessed graphic video of insurrectionists using violent, racist, and harmful rhetoric fused with violent, racist, and harmful actions. Actions that in many instances have led to jail stints, public shaming, and worse, death. Incited by 45, these people who have ideals and beliefs similar to people in our own personal lives have found a way to commandeer the month of January and February. Will March fall victim too? What are we to make of this? Do those of us that find fault with that, with what these people did at the urging of 45 continue to dictate our TV time, social media swipes, and podcast listens to the story? Okay, I want to talk about kindness. How many preach on it, but very little follow through. One of the things that I think that we need to do when it comes to kindness is self-reflect. Self, self Are we using our surroundings as an excuse for our own behavior? Have we taken the time during the state of the world to be better or have we detached? While I understand that the word values is subjective and I respect that, I believe that we can agree on a few common values. One is respect and in all forms. The family unit and the definition of family unit is also subjective because it doesn't mean one thing or another. The family unit means however you create your family, friends, um, 
biology, no biology, that family unit is subjective. So we take it, that into account and it takes a village. June is Black Music Month. And as we close it out this weekend, I wanted to use Tamika's thoughts to comment on something regarding the music I love so much, specifically R&B and hip hop. The first CD I ever purchased was a 1991 release by Nikki D called Daddy's Little Girl alongside a cassette, remember those? A mm -hmm. fellow Cool J's 1990 release, Mama Said Knock You Out. I was a hip hop fanatic. I consumed it all, even as a child, I remember hearing Salt and Pepper's Showstopper and writing my first rhyme using the moniker TV Fresh. Yes, I still remember the lyrics. My name is TV Fresh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. As the years went on, I would be, I would buy releases by artists like A Tribe Called Quest, Grand Puba, Heavy D and the Boys, Guy, and of course my favorite artist of all time, Mary J. Blige. When it came to music, I became, whenever I say Mary J. Blige on the side notes, I think of what you can say. I, I was just about to say Mary that you J. can't, Blige. you can't say Blige. Marissa's musings. So I started the topic today with body autonomy. You don't get to tell me, it's at my time. So one, one of the most amazing things I think we can teach ourselves and the people around us is however you feel about a situation and walk away from it with, whenever you feel like addressing it, do that. When someone decides to address you and how you made them feel, it's not for you to diminish and it's not for you to fix. Sometimes just an acknowledgement is enough. I have a tendency to walk away from situations where I didn't know that I offended someone. Um, and I'm not apologizing. That wasn't my intention. But when someone has... Over the years, you may have heard me reference one of my many cousins. I have way too many to count. And so unless you know it's me, unless you know me, it's hard to differentiate between which one I may be talking about. It's crazy because there have been times where I'm talking to someone and they tell me they don't have any cousins. That response always makes me turn up my hearing aids and ask for, for him or her to repeat what they said. How can you not have any cousins? I think at the end of the day, you can have relationships with cousins, but it's not possible to have none. In term, none, I mean, not, none cousins, no cousins. Um, now, speaking of relationships with cousins, many of mine have run the gamut from sisters to friends to cousin aunt, cousin uncle. I've had strong bonds with some of them at points and non-existent relationships with others. Some knew me when I was a kid with knee braces and never saw me again, while others have remained in my life for 47 years. Cousins are unique family members, and most of us have interesting stories to tell about our experiences with- And I'm pedaling and I'm listening. And it happened upon, and I have no idea who to give credit to because it was on YouTube and as I was biking, I was thinking and I didn't get back to it. Um, somebody talked about um, celebrating ordinary, celebrating the average. And I was like, what? And he goes, we put so much emphasis on getting the bag. We put so much emphasis on being the number one, being the greatest. And he goes, everybody can't be a bad bitch. What about the ordinary bitch? Who doesn't want to be a bad bitch? What about, she doesn't have her long nails. She doesn't even go get her nails done. She barely brushes her hair, but she gets up and goes. And I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I'm definitely not a bad bitch by no means under that definition. Like I barely brush my hair. I probably- It is. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know what to share today. My thoughts are jumbled. I thought about giving my views on everything from the Olympics to anti-vaxxers to politics and even the baby. What the fuck's up with him? But I've been in a funk lately and I honestly am at a loss for words. So I'll just say, have a good weekend. Tell someone you love them. And hey, Ashton Kutcher, showers are better than bird baths. Marissa's musings. Okay, so there was a poll on Gallup, uh, June 1st to June 5th of this year. The question asked was those with preference for Hispanic, Latino, 
or Latinx. Figures above represent combination results. So 57% of those polled said Hispanic, 37 Latino, 5% Latinx, and 2% said no opinion. Okay, now I know we have said this um, before, and I know you've used that term before, and I know it's very popular right now to use that term. Have you had... Um, what, Latinx? Yeah, Latinx. Uh, yeah. Oh, see, you can't hear it because the stupid <laughs> thing is connected to my hearing aids. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. So, so just to give everyone context, la context, Tamika wears hearing aids in both ears. She's got these dope new hearing aids that are Bluetooth. So her, whatever's happening on her devices are connected. So she's the only one that can hear it, much like Bluetooth speakers, right? So last week we were trying to figure out this audio thing and I kept inching, 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 inching close at her because I could hear it kind of like in her, in her hearing aid, but she could, she couldn't get grasp that like, the world can't hear it, just her. And she's why are you keep like, why, why are you inching closer? And I was just trying to hear. And she just tried to play an audio clip for you to get into the next segment. But she's the only one that could hear it. Yeah. So, so let's I try that, that again. Let's try that again. <laughs> We're testing one, two, three. Can you hear me, Marissa? Can you hear me? Say something, don't sing it. Say something. <laughs> Stop singing. <laughs> I can't because you keep giving me like his songs. <laughs> We're just reminiscing over the, the love we, we had. had. <laughs> okay, I'm just really out. Let's, let's, let's close this out. Wait, 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 Tamika. What? what? I love you and you're, you're enough. enough. Love you too. Where can they find us, Marissa? Yep, yeah, yes. 18. Holler. She's getting it, y'all. She's getting it. <laughs> y'all have a good week. Bye.